We got our framing inspection. Not too bad. Pretty much stuff thought we would have to do anyway. We gotta put some metal ties at the ridge where our rafters meet. And we were gonna do that anyway. So we gotta tie rafters to the ridge. Hey, I'm vlogging here. <laughs> anyway, so we gotta do a few little things to get our framing inspection passed, but it's no big deal. Well, we got a few big deals. <laughs> like these, these uh, when they put this cabin back together, they splice some of these rafters. So what I'm gonna try to get our structural engineer to, to let me do is just do like a bolt pattern. Like maybe four to six bolts here on either side of that splice they have. And I think they'll take care of it. All right, we got our mini split installed yesterday. That's a 9,000 BTU heat pump, basically. And the condensing unit will sit outside. Did I say 9,000? <laughs> this is a 12,000 in here because we have all this glass in here. This one's 12,000 BTUs. This one in here for Eric's plane. <laughs> that one is 9,000. BT because the room is smaller and we have less glazing. So, what are you doing? Are you in the closet? Yeah, I didn't, want, I didn't really want to frame a closet in here, but they wanted one, so I wanted to use like a piece of furniture or something. <sighs> like a wardrobe. But, you don't always get to decide everything. So is it gonna work? Aren't you glad you're here before the heat and air guys finish? Oh, yes. <laughs> is this the Wurzbo stuff? Yes, it is. It's called Wurzbo Pex. Made made by Unpar. Unpar. Wundabar. 25 year guarantee. Alright. Eric, where's my Wurzbo tools? Boy. Oh. Eric. Eric's always trying to steal my stuff. <laughs> We've never have we ever used them? I I bought those just so I could say I had some. You need to bring them so we can show people what they what they look like. I got mine. You got yours? That would be cool. When I go, I'm gonna go up here and take some pictures, and then maybe you can. Okay. Oh. Uh, Eric, don't blame me. <laughs> you had a question about what? The vents. Yeah. I was going to talk to you about them. Vents. He wants to go up to this wall or this wall rather than go through the roof. Let me go, sir. Come, come on, let's do this with me, sir. That's a nice butt. Yeah, we're off my butt. Yeah, I can see you now on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least your crack wasn't showing. This, this is the worst one. Oh, let me see. What I'd like to do is get... You see how they have expands as you work the lever? Yeah. Interchangeable heads. For the different size pipe? For different size pipes. We have a tool that cuts the tubing. And the various fittings. Different sizes. Show us how it works. <laughs> I will. We may have to have time out. Oh, time out. <laughs> there you go. Oh, what we're going 
going to do, first off, we're going to square off our end. You can see it's a little bit. So we'll Hold still. <laughs> okay. Now we know. Now we know we have a nice true square end. We'll slip our coupling on. Now remember, on these couplings, they're designed to have a stop on one side, so that when you put it on the tubing, it will stop at the correct location. Years ago, you had to guess. Now. Always determine that your head is secured fully on. Otherwise, you won't get the proper expansion. Just want to insert it into the tube, crank, turn, crank, turn, crank, turn, crank, turn. Crank, turn. Pause for about three seconds. Remove. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Insert your fitting. So that secured that fitting on both sides, the pipe and the fitting? Right now, the, the collar, the, the, the tubing is designed with the memory, what they call a memory. Mm -hmm. And it will allow the tubing to go back to its original size. The collar ensures that it goes back to its original size for extra strength. So now you're basically finished with that joint. That's it. And it will no not. Nothing. And and I've, we've been doing this for how long? Um, approximately. We haven't had any trouble. Uh, I myself personally have been doing this in the New England states for approximately 20 years. Uh, most of your radiant tubing is done this way in the floor heating. And I have yet had a problem. So. Yeah, I've been really happy with it. You know, when this when these products first came out, what was that cheap water tubing they first came out with? Polybutylene. Polybutylene, yeah. And I, I hated that stuff because it was terrible. The joints would come apart. Yes. So when I first met you how many years ago and you said, Well, I use words, but I was like, Oh crap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but we haven't had any problems and I love right. this stuff. And, and uh, you actually end up with what less joints, right? Because the so yes, the tubing is um, flexible. You can make turns without having joints. And right. The, the 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 best part about it is it, it you're, you almost appear to be an electrician because you run this almost like Romex. Um, you can actually fish it through between uh, floor stringers, uh, wall two by fours. You were showing me too. If you get a kink in it, you can just heat it up. Exactly. And that it'll was, kind of go back to it since it has a memory. Or is right. that part of the memory deal? Yes. If you'd like, I can. Uh, if you. Pause it for a moment. I'll set up to uh, show you. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What's great about this stuff is it, it it's far better. It's far superior to copper. Uh, for one thing, there's there's no there's no uh, torch work in in tight places. So the insurance companies absolutely love it. Uh, copper, once it's installed in a home, it depends on the plumber whether he is going to warranty the actual copper or not. Usually, he'll uh, um, warranty his labor. But not the product. Now, what's nice about the Wurzbow tubing is that the manufacturer of it warranties the tubing itself. It's designed to expand five times its diameter without bursting, therefore it's perfect application for anything that might freeze. Also, it's virtually indestructible. That is a big no-no when it comes to copper. Makes me hurt just <laughs> watching you do that. <laughs> and you can sit here for as long as you need to and try to destroy it. And you can even twist it the other way if you feel necessary. And you can try to destroy it. Now I, I assure you that if you stood there for 15 or 20 minutes, you might be able to get this to break apart. But under normal circumstances when you're feeding it and it should bend or kink, all you need to do is to, you can take a hair dryer or a heat gun. I prefer a torch because it's what I have on hand. for it to turn clear and that's its original state when it was first designed. As you can see it's, it's going right back to shape all on its own. And 
there we have it. Okay, let me see. Now, as it cools down, it will go back to the white color. And when it does, and right now you can do anything you want to with it. Please don't do that. I, li I liked it when it was almost fixed. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you can't hurt it. Right. It's so what temperature does it actually burn? Uh, actually, I've had this discussion before with, uh, with salespeople, and their answer to me was, uh, it, it, would have to, it would have to be a, a, a fire in a home. Okay. Because, Sustained flame. Because if you think about it, the first thing I didn't think of, of course, was it's full of water. Yeah. yeah. So it probably won't burn. As you can see, it's going back to its original color. Oh, yeah. And, and you can see that there's no damage. That's pretty cool. The pipe is back to exactly what it was before. Well, thanks, Terry, for the demonstration. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Are you working? <laughs> well, we made too many corners and T's, huh? Yes, so. <laughs> well, you're doing a good job. Thanks. Are you saving those nails for Eric? Uh, well, I'd, I'd, do it. I'd, I'd straighten them out and put them in his nail apron and make him reuse them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding.